who dye the dress. And low key, I picked the windiest day in the world to accomplish this goal. So let's see how this turns out. But right now, here's what we've got. And let's go, let's go turn it pink, okay? Okay, just pour it in. Yep. Can I put this on the plastic or is it gonna melt the plastic? Just bring it back over here, you've gotta have this. True. Up. Really? I just dropped stuff in it? Yep. I'm so nervous. Seriously, just drop it? Yes. Geronimo! Okay. Okay. So it said that you can wring all the dye back the pot which is what I'm doing because I want to use it all okay so here's what it looks like wow um, do you feel like it picked up the dye good enough there or no just stick it back in okay so now I'm just gonna squeeze all the dye out once again Can we just set this to the side, you think? Okay. All right, so I guess try to do one more. Now, I didn't want to go the traditional Sleeping Beauty Disney. I kind of wanted to take the live action and also the classic version and kind of marry them together. So I do have a bunch of um, net that I'm going to dye. Let's see if that will work. The freestanding lace, I used 100% cotton thread. Okay, wait, I should've done this one by one. That would've been much easier. Okay, here we go. Sheet. Oh, we dyed the zipper. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Well, that was a workout. Okay. I don't know if anyone else is watching Physical 100. I watched the finale last night and I definitely realized, I mean, I knew I couldn't do it, but I definitely realized. Adventure with my sleeve fabric, which it did not take. So I'm going to try to dye um, some cotton lace and see if see if I can figure out what I'm going to do next on sleeves. <laughs> it worked! Oh my god, I love it. Okay, I decided to do this on the day we have a wind advisory. So yeah, not smart me but at least it's not very sunny so I'm going to leave everything out to dry um, my shoes beautiful the lace looking really good sorry dad I have to bring that up but here's the bodice and yeah I'm just gonna leave everything and hope for the best okay Amazon rocked up right when I was getting ready to finish dyeing so I ordered these and I figured yes they will die so Thanks, Mom. <laughs> oh my God, they actually worked. Look how well they took the dye. I knew it. Those are gonna be beautiful. Oh my God, yes. We have it dyed pink. And if the sun would cooperate with my video, it will go blue. But since the sun is saying not today, you just have to trust me. But I kind of went a little crazy. I just said, why don't I just dye everything and see what happens. So we're getting it. Come on, son, cooperate with me here, please. Okay, so what I'm doing now is washing the fabric in cold water after it's dried and really not 
easy to do this one-handed, but you can see, oh my god, the water's so cold. You can see that some of the dye is coming out, so I'm going to just get this all washed, and then I'm going to go hang it up to air dry once more and see how that looks. Okay, so it is all dried, and I'm going to explain what worked and what didn't work. So what worked is that it died. Yay! So anyway, like I was saying, the website did say that you should only dye cotton. Well, I did the work for you and I dyed everything I could get my hands on. This is what it looks like with cotton and I did use two bottles. I wish I wasn't on the time crunch. I would definitely have gone back, gotten three or four bottles of the dye. Um, using a long container I think also would have been more helpful, but it is what it is. So this is a poly net and it died. I mean, it died great. You can't really tell on the screen. It's all different shades of pink, but I don't think it matters. I think it kind of makes it a little more pink, which is what I wanted this color right here. So once I kind of put all this together, I think it makes it a little more pink. And the chiffon also did dye. It's um, kind of a pale pink, which makes it a pale blue. But again, I think once I combine all these together, it's going to be much easier. I'm struggling right now because you cannot iron the fabric and steaming it's not really making much difference. So I'm going to go try to test and see if I can like maybe put the iron on low and see if I can iron it that way. I just need to get some of these wrinkles out. But I mean, this lace, can we talk about how pretty this shade of pink is? It's gorgeous, but I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to try to go jazz this skirt up and get this project wrapped up and finished. And I can't wait for you to see the final look. Oh, also? The Amazon flowers, gorgeous, gorgeous. They're chiffon, so I just dumped the whole thing in there. Gorgeous. My freestanding lace flowers that I made on the embroidery machine are made of 100% cotton. Again, gorgeous. So I can't wait to kind of use this to decorate, but it worked. I love it, it works. it's amazing. Okay, we actually have a sunny day today, so everything is dried, dyed, and pinned to the mannequin. So now I'm gonna start decorating. It's beautiful. Just, just be patient, you're gonna see it. It's gonna be amazing. I definitely had questions about whether or not chiffon and polyester materials would dye. So here is my poly chiffon, and it actually took. I mean, I'm super, super shocked, but... Son, could you just maybe work with me, please? Anyway, I think you can get a pretty good idea on what it looks like. I'm going to attempt to do this with one hand. Okay, so you saw it was pink. And it is blue. I, wow. And here's something that really amuses me. Look, when you take the print off, <laughs> it just leaves it on. But, wow. This is just so cool. Oh my gosh, can't wait to put this on. Emma, do you want to... Emma, what do you think? You think it's amazing too? Emmy says she approves. She thinks it's amazing. Thank you. Wow, that looks so good. Welcome back to day six. Today is the day that I'm going to shoot this. So I have a little bit of work to do before that happens. Basically, yesterday, all the fabric was dyed during windstorm, which, wow. So here's where I'm at. I have my collar piece on. I can't really do anything until I get my sleeves done. So that is where I've taken, <clears throat> excuse me. I've taken my net fabric right here, just folded it in half. And I think what I'm going to do is probably go more live action Sleeping Beauty. So I'm going to gather all of this onto an elastic and attach that at the shoulders. So I'll have just really pretty flowy sleeves I may even sew it up at the elbow. Not really sure. I figure I'll just get that far and then see what happens. But I'm gonna get this thing done and shoot it this afternoon. Wish me luck. Okay, so now that I have the channel sewn, it's pretty easy. I take just my elastic, cut it to where I want it to be. Remembering to add seam allowance, I'm gonna stick a little pin on it and I'm going to find my channel that I just stitched, which is right here. And I'm just going to thread it through, which takes patience and a longer pin. Let me go find one of those. Okay, hairpin is going to work fine. So I'm just going to 
thread it through so it looks like this. And then I'm just going to pull it through this channel. These sleeves are pretty straightforward. I do this with a lot of my stuff. Let me see if I can just get it started. It's a bit finicky, to be honest, but one of these days I'll figure out a better solution. So you just pull it. Make sure when you do this, I like to go really slow when I first start out so I can try to catch it like right there because the worst feeling in the world is when you realize you've kind of like let go and this one end has gone through and you have to start all over. So there we go. And all I'm going to do is pop a pin right there so my elastic is not going to slip through the rest of the channel while I'm gathering. Just like that. See, it's not going anywhere. And now just going to gather the rest of it. Okay, and this is what it should look like. So I'm going to just kind of move my gathers a little bit down so it's even and it's pretty straightforward. I mean, that is going to be my sleeve. Looks like that. And the way I'm going to attach it to my bodice, again, it's probably like the easiest sleeve in the world. I'm going to go over to the machine, sew this down so it doesn't move. And basically I'm gonna sew this here. Let me just pin this in place so you can see. I will sew this down right there and then I'm going to take the other side and I'm going to connect it right here. And huge thanks to Helisachi who helped me figure out how to do the sleeve with the collar because that's where I was kind of stuck. I couldn't figure out what to do. That's what the sleeve looks like. And then I'm just going to take my collar and attach it right there to the band and it will hide all my joints, but it's going to be so pretty. Oh, I love it already. Okay, and here is just kind of a general idea of what that looks like. I don't have any grommets in. I'll save that for very last, but it's really nice, right? And then, so this, I did this one handed. <laughs> this will tuck over kind of like that. So it looks something like this. And then I'm just going to go decorate it with all of my flowers, but it's really, really pretty. I like it. I feel like a princess. And here is what that looks like once I have sewn that in place. Again, I just turned it right here and I backstitched a lot to make sure it does not move at all. And then what I'm going to do is take what is going to be my collar piece and I'm going to just pin this down, pin it over the sleeve right here. And that's what it's gonna look like. Super easy, really simple and really pretty. All right, the sleeveles are finally attached. Now I'm going to sew this collar down. But like I said, I'm just going to cover the sleeves right there. So this is what it looks like. And then I'm going to just decorate this thing Go put hair and makeup on and go shoot this. Yay, I'm so excited. I can't wait for you to see this. I've been going in and out of the sun in the living room and it's just, oh, it's so cool. All right, it is the final reveal, but the problem is it's very sunny. So I'm trying to just get a little bit of color hidden for you. So you can see that almost instantly it turns blue. So I'm gonna color this just a little bit. So when I get out in the sun, it's gonna be crazy awesome for you. And I even dyed my shoes. Okay, so here's the final reveal. Make it pink, make it blue.
My goodness. All right, so I just walked in from the shoot and I did not realize it was so hot outside. So that is the end of this project. Now, I am going to be taking this cosplay to Megacon, which means I'm going to totally remake the skirt. I, I just, I don't like the cotton. It just, it doesn't have that flow that I want. And I did find that in the middle of dyeing this, and I am no expert with dyeing. This is, I think, maybe my third project I have ever dyed in my entire life. But I did find in the middle of it that my poly chiffon and my poly net actually cooked. So I've ordered a small bottle and I'm going to dye different samples of different fabrics to see if I can remake the skirt and just kind of jazz it up. I just felt like the cotton was a little too plain, but the bodice is amazing. I definitely want more flowers, more sparkles, more, 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 more. But um, I, I'm so pleased with this project and I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are interested in kind of hearing a things that worked and things that didn't work and seeing what different fabrics will work with this dye, definitely let me know in the comment section. I, I'm going to be doing it anyway, so I would love to share with you kind of the things that I have learned, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.